What's going on guys, Atsu here, and today I'll be categorizing a bunch of Genshin Impact content creators who I am friends with into this meme format, can I copy your homework? And I'm gonna be putting them in there to see how likely, or rather I want to tell you guys how I personally feel, would they let me copy their homework and how they would respond to this message. So the very first person we're gonna put in there is of course going to be my wife, Neko P. Now, would Neko P allow me to copy her homework? The answer is an absolutely big, fat, lol nope. She would just make me suffer, and she'd be okay with that. She'd be okay with that. However, if you were someone else, and you were Neko P's friend, and not me, she'd be like, I'll help you with it. Or, yeah, sure. But because it's me, because it's me, it, it will, it, she, she'd be low note. So Neko P would be low note. She goes in there. Now, as you can see, we've got the Genshin Impact background here. So this is going to be very, very, very scuffed. I want you guys to know that this, this meme format is going to be very, very, very scuffed. Next up, we have got Miss Dawn, aka Psycho. Now, we have selected a very nice image for her. I think it brings out the best of her features. And let's go with, yep. So Dawn, Dawn would be the type that would be, you know, mm, where would Dawn go into? Again, because it's me, she'd probably say, lol, nope. But, you know, you know, she'd also be in like, wait, we had homework. Huh. But she'd also be like, I'll help you with it. It depends whether I catch her on a good day or a bad day. I think she would go in. She'd go in with, I'll help you with it. Miss Dawn, aka Miss PP, Pee is very, very, very nice person. Uh, so let's let's use a better photo. Otherwise, she is going to she is going to absolutely <clears throat> tear me from piece to piece. So I'll use this photo instead. That, that is, okay, maybe not, maybe not. M maybe we'll use a, a, a better photo. There we go, there you go. More appealing photo of Dawn. Next up, we have got Mr. Slice. Now, Mr. Slice. Mr. Slice. Dawn's partner. He would 100% leave me on red. 100% left on red. He definitely would have done the homework. He would have left me on red. And then when I confront him at school, he'll be like, huh? Huh? Mr. Sly <laughs> definitely would have left me on red. Right, next we've got Jake. Mr. Toronto. Huh? Ha! Ah. Now Jake, Jake, you know, Jake's the, Jake's the, Jake's the homie, so Jake would be like, yeah, sure. However, he'd also be like this as well. Now I'm thinking about the times where, you know, Genshin Impact content creators have to fill in a form to apply for, you know, to be in part of the Genshin Impact content creator program. And I am aware Jake is not very good at doing this. So that's a form of homework. So I think he'd, he'd definitely be the way we had homework. He, he'd definitely go in there. And Mr. Ant, I think we all know where this is going. He too would also leave me on red. He's definitely done the homework and he's done it on like literally as soon as he gets home. Homework's done. And I text him, like, oh, yo, yo, Ant, can you help me with the homework? Or can I copy your homework? Definitely left on red. Definitely, definitely, definitely left on red. For sure, for sure, for sure. Now, Dara, Miss Dish. Miss Dish. I think also goes in the, uh, Wait, we had homework. She's, uh... <laughs> uh, when I went to LA, 
and we hung out. Let's just say she can be somewhat forgetful. That's all I'm gonna say. So she would, she's definitely the wait we had homework kind of deal. However, if she has done the homework, if she has done the homework, she'd actually say this to me. To me, specifically, she'd say this to me. But if it was like Neko P asking her, it would be a yeah, sure. You know, so it really depends who you are in Dara's life. So if Neko P asks, it would be yeah, sure. If it's me, it's either this one or unfortunately this one. <clears throat> all my homies fake. All my homies fake. They all fake as hell. They all f now I'm thinking about it, guys. They all fake as hell. Ah. You know what? I think Dawn would actually be like this as well. You know? Dawn would be like one of these as well. All my homies fake as hell. But you know what? I'm going to gas Dawn up anyway. And I'm going to appeal to her, her nice side. Right, next we've got Mr. Tenga Man. Mr. Tenga Man. Uh, now you, you guys might think, all right? You guys might think Mr. Tenga Man will be down here. Wait, we had homework. But actually, actually, Tanha is very diligent and he's on top of many things. And he is a real one. He is a brother to the death. So, Tenga Man is definitely in the yeah, sure. Yeah, sure category. I believe. I believe. And Tenha, I would let you copy my homework as well. I would let you copy my homework as well. Then we have Mr. Dulan. Mr. Dillonosity. 100%. No, 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 no question. No question. No question. He is the only person I can guarantee for sure will always forget to do that. 100%. 100%. That is the response he would give you. He would give that to anyone. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter who you are. Dylan will be like, huh? We had homework? Oh man, I forgot to do it. Oh, oh, oh. That's definitely, definitely envy. All right, we have got... Oh, actually. Actually. I have Boop next, but I only had an image of the clouds. But we can change that now. Because Boop, being the absolute idol he is. Boop, I think Boop would actually... Ah, I think Bwap would be, I think Bwap would be the homie and would also be, yeah, sure. I think Bwap would be under, yeah, sure. I think Bwap is, Bwap would be the homie and would not, would not snake me like some of the others on this list. Bwap is the definition of as chill as they come. Very, very chill. Okay, now we have Mike, Mr. M Tashed. Mr. M Tashed, I think, would be between yes, yeah, sure, and I'll help you with it. And Mike has done a lot for me in terms of like a a position of where he's taught me a lot of things and guided me through a lot of things. So I think Mike goes into I'll help you with it. Mr. Antash goes in there. We're going to run out of space here, guys. Okay. Oh, God. We have this monkey. This absolute chimpanzee. Okay, guys. All right. This dude. This dude. Oh, everyone knows who the chimpanzee is. Now, this guy. This guy. Would take any opportunity to throw me under the bus and mock me for it. Therefore, he too goes into the nope category. He too also, because he does his homework, guys, all right? Fob might be a monkey. He might be an ape. He might be a baboon. But he actually does stay on top of things as much as possible. All right, let me tell you a really short story. I, along with Nekopi, flew to New York. To hang out with a bunch of people. Fob was one of them. Fob, every single night, tried to go home and drive home. Tried to drive home to stream 
instead of hanging out with the homies who only gathered like this one special occasion per year, he'd be like, nah, I need to go home and stream. I need to go home and do my homework. This dude, 100% would be like a low note. He definitely does his homework. Irie. Irie. Oh, okay, now this, this, this depends on, uh, hmm, Irie. It depends on who you are. I, I feel if you're someone that Irie likes, Irie would be like, you know, I'll help you with it. Or yeah, sure. However, Irie is also very witty. And also sometimes can be a little bit dirt. Therefore, I think she's the first one that goes into bold of you to assume I did the homework. She has that Giga Chan, but clumsy energy. So I'm going to put Irie in there. We have got Saki. Oh, that's a, <coughs> that's an ominous image. Wrong one. We've got Saki. Saki is a no-brainer. Would be a... That, that's how I feel. This is, this is a, a no, no-brainer. 100% wait, we had homework. No, uh, <clears throat> no, no, uh, no, no question about it. No question about it. Then we have, oh, this one is so obvious. Then we have Mr. Akron. Then we have Mr. Akron. I think the chat can work out where Akron would go as well. I think chat would know where Akron would go. I think Akron's one is uh, very obvious. There's only two real categories here. There's only only two real categories that Akron would be in. And it is uh, either Lol Nope, he too would mock you for if he has done the homework. However, I don't think Akron does his homework. So, I'm sure he would say something like bold of you to assume, assume I did the homework. So he, he too makes it into the, the bold of you to assume. Next up, we have got Mr. Pycon. Now, Mr. Pycon, I think, is also very similar energy to, uh, to Akron. However, the question is, does Pycon do his homework? If he does his homework, he go in low note. If he doesn't do his homework, he goes in here. So do you, do you guys think PyCon is the type to do his homework? Or is he always messing about? That's the question. Because some of these people, you, you might think as a streamer, huh, there's no way they do school stuff. There's no way they do homework. There's no chance. But actually, they do. So, I think, uh, I think Py... <laughs> I think PyCon, I think he does do his homework. I, I think he, he does do his homework. I think he does. Hmm. Hmm, maybe, hmm. No, you know what? I think, he, no, I'm going to put him here. I'm going to put him here. Maybe he does it, but it's like a last minute kind of thing. So it would still be bold of you to assume. I, I'm going to put him in bold. Then we have... Mr. Gratiste, Statiste. <clears throat> this one's, uh, this one's easy. This one's, uh, he's straight in low nope. Or wait, we had homework. It's one of those, but I think he does actually do his homework. Uh, now I know, I don't know if Mr. Gratiste, Statiste has shared his ethnicity publicly. Uh, I know he's done an eyeball reveal, but I don't know if you can find out what his ethnicity is from his eyeball reveal. But, uh, I'm sure within his household, he would get hit with the chunkla or beaten with the sandals or the belt if he didn't do his homework. So, so yes, that's all I'm going to say. So he, he can go in there. And then we have Nick, Mr. Ziox, oh, the nerd. Of course, he does his homework. Of course, Mr. Ziox does his homework. We've got a great photo of Nick here. Uh, Nick is... Uh, mm. 
I think this depends on, uh... I think this depends on who you are. Again, to Nick, it depends on who you are. See, like... I'm sure Nick would say to me... As a joke, he'd say, lol, no. But if he knew I actually really, 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 really needed help... I think he'll actually just straight up be like, yeah, sure. Now, if he wants to meme... Then, uh, he'll be like, bold of you to assume I did the homework. Because this guy's a joker. He always makes fun of my accent. The what's going on, guys? Asian guy here. He always does this terrible British accent, which his audience absolutely loved. But, uh, on a real note, though, Nick is a homie. I I'm sure he would actually let me copy his homework. Uh, because he, he copies the Jeff's homework anyway. So that's the, that's the running meme. Uh, so let's do the Jeff next. For those of you who don't know, everything that Nick, aka Mr. Ziox, has done is actually all of the Jeff's work. So I can tell you for sure, the Jeff used to be like, yeah, sure, or I'll help you with it. So the Jeff is the maths guy that does everything for Nick. So the Jeff used to be in these two. But now, the Jeff is like this. Now, the Jeff is like this. Because he's been tarnished by Xiox, aka Nick, he's now been, you know, he's had enough. He's had enough, so he's gone down to the red category. Mr. OK Code. Mr. Code. Hmm. I, I think Code would go in here. <laughs> I think Code would go in the way we had homework. But if he does it, I think Code would also be in the yeah, sure category as well. He would definitely say both of these things. I feel like he would say both. I'm going to put Code in the yeah, sure category. I think Code would let me copy his homework. Then we have Sevi. Sevi plays. A big member of the Putanina gang. Theory Crafter, very good with the maps, definitely does the homework. Sevi would definitely be in the category of I'll help you with it. She wants to help you achieve greatness by yourself. She will not let you copy her homework, she will help you achieve greatness by yourself. That's, uh, that's, that's Sevi. Very, very, very helpful. Again, all of the links to these people will be listed in the description down below as well guys for those of you who want to check out these people's youtube or twitch channels i'll leave whichever one they're more active on in the in the description down below so sevi is there and then we have mr i'm not a mr i'm not a genshin streamer genshin streamer we've got ed now let's uh let's quickly uh let's quickly uh, adjust this photo We've got Mr. BTMC. Now, Ed. Ed goes in the wait we had homework category. The Osu King. The Osu King. Very terrible at replying to messages. Very, 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 very bad. Always requires multiple pings. Does not respond to anything I say until the last moment. Forgets the assignment almost every single time. Absolute z zero communicational skills unless you have him in person, or unless you catch him at a good time. Very difficult to get a hold of, so straight up. Also, just does not do this stuff diligently enough. Then again, he does his dailies religiously. Ah, so maybe. No, no, no. He's no. He's definitely though. We had. We wait. We had homework time. No, 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 no. No, no, no shot. He's anything else. Then we have Ellie. Ellie. Mm -mm -mm. I think Ellie would probably help me with the homework. She's a very nice person. She wouldn't say this about herself, but I think she's quite diligent. So, she would go in the "I'll help you with it" category. She would definitely be the helpful type. Next up, we have got... Oh, we've got another baboon, guys. We've got another monkey. Mr. Akashot, a.k.a. Waterchan, on Twitter. <clears throat> this one would be a very easy... Bold of you to assume I did the homework. Absolute baboon. 
Akashot can go in that. There's no, there's no debate. Ah, just, uh, just no debate. Absolute monkey. Absolute clown. And then we've got Joshua, Mr. Lowe's Pro, Mr. or Miss Dishes or Mrs. Dishes spouse. Mr. Lowe's Pro, I think, would be Joshua's the homie. Joshua would let me copy his homework. He would let me copy it. Joshua's the homie. He would let me copy this. We are the Dave's Chicken Brothers. For those of you who don't know about Dave's Chicken. Oh, you're missing out. It's some juicy, juicy chicken. Juicy, juicy chicken. Mrs. Fishy Wishies. Mrs. Dillonosity. Uh, Miss Fishy Wishies. Definitely one of the kindest people I know. So she might actually be, yeah, sure. But I think she would want to help the person do it themselves. So I'm going to put her in. I'll help you with it. She is one of the most helpful people out there. Always words of affirmation or what's the word? Positive reinforcement on Twitter as well. So definitely in there. Then we have, oh, this one's an interesting one. We have got, do you guys recognize this photo? Do you guys recognize this person? Also very wholesome, just like many of the people on here. This is Mr. I Win to Lose. Now, I'm not sure if Mr. I Win to Lose has revealed his name, so I have to be very careful. But well, Mr. I Win to Lose. Mmm. Mr. I Win to Lose. Definitely does his homework for sure. Definitely does his homework for sure. We chat quite often on Discord. And I think. I, I think. I think he would be a also the helpful type rather than I'm just going to let you copy me type. So definitely someone that would help. Now we have Mr. Ten Ten, also someone who does their homework. Definitely does their homework. <laughs> Ten Ten. Ten Ten. Hmm. Ten Ten. I think 1010. You guys think 1010 would be left on red? You guys would put 1010 in left on red? No way. No way. 1010 so nice. 1010 so nice. He tell you the answer is Shangli even when it isn't true. True. He'll, he'll, he'll be like, yeah, sure. And the homework is just Shangli. True. 1010 is no 1010 is definitely yeah sure and the reason why i say that is because his whole channel is literally him doing homework by copying the china server and making it easier for the western players to understand and copy that so he is the literal definition of yeah sure play with shangling he would let you copy it anybody he's he's the real one guys 1010 is the real one he's there to help you out Next up, we have got number 28, which is Mitun. Uh, and this one's, uh, this one's a pretty easy one. Uh, and this one is... Uh, <laughs> Mitun is a little bit derpy as well. Very, very wholesome guy. I'm sure if he did the homework, it would be a no-brainer. Yeah, sure. But I feel like more often than not, Mitun would be the type to be like, Huh? What? We are... Huh? So, uh, Mitun... Goes in there. And then we have 29, Arnold. For those of you who are into Genshin lore and you haven't subscribed to Mr. Arnold, aka Mr. Murder of Birds, you are missing out because this is the number one go-to place for lore discussion. So, Arnold though. Yes, Arnold originally covered red... Is it red, white? Red, white, blue, yellow, the anime uh, and the game. Uh, but recently has been corrupted, or more than less than recently, for a long time now, has been corrupted by Genshin Impact. Arnold, Arnold, Arnold. Hmm. Arnold, Arnold, Arnold. Where would I? Hmm. Arnold. I think Arnold would not be pleased if someone copied all his hard work. So it's definitely not a yeah, sure. However, I think he would also be happy to help. So, I'm going to put Arnold up here. 
And then last but not least, Mr. Razor Ninjas. Mr. Razor Ninjas. The Giga Whale, Mr. C6R5, multiple R5s. <laughs> I think you'll say lol, nope. I, I think he'll just be like, nope. He's definitely done the homework, but I'm sure he'll just be like, lol, nope. Wow, look at this list. It's so interesting now. It's so interesting. Now, if I've got anybody's wrong, I do apologize. Uh, this is this is just for a bit of fun, but this hopefully this gives you a bit of insight on how I see a bunch of my friends. If, if you are on this list, guys, and you're watching this video and I've got it terribly, terribly wrong, I do apologize. I do apologize. But yes, this, <laughs> this is how I think it would be. I think this is how it would go. Hmm. In general speaking, guys, this is how I think most people will respond to me specifically. In terms of generic personality, for example, Ant, I think Ant would be in like, I'll help you with it. If you're someone Ant doesn't like, actually, yes. If you're someone Ant doesn't like specifically, Ant can be quite petty, so he would also be low nope. He would also say low nope. If you, if you, are disliked by Ant, he would say lol nope. He would go out of his way to tell you lol nope. But otherwise, I think he would just leave me on red. <coughs> if, I, if I asked him if I could copy his homework. Actually, with me, I think that Jeff wouldn't be like, uh, I think that Jeff would say lol nope as well, actually, if it was me asking. But yes, there you have it. That is the, uh, that is the whole list of Can I Copy Your Homework, Genshin Impact Content Creators Edition. Once again, uh, I hope the people I put on here are okay with this. I do consider all of these people my friends. I, I hope I hope the feeling's mutual, otherwise this is kind of awkward. <clears throat> this is kind of awkward. Uh, but yes, if I have not included someone here, I apologize. Uh, it's nothing personal. I didn't want the video to be too long. It is uh, literally around 30 minutes long, and we had 30 people. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys on YouTube enjoyed this. Thank you to the Bonobos, Bozos, Baboons, Snakes, and Scammers who are part of this. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. And bye-bye. Uh,